Hello my YouTube friends, how are you? Today it is time for another face up stories. In this episode I'll repaint my Monster High Rochelle that I've unboxed some time ago. But before we dive in I'd like to mention that this video is a mini collab with the lovely Debbie from Debbie Arts on YouTube. She made a new tutorial on how to draw my custom Rochelle. If you want to see it you can click on the annotation below but I also left a link in the description box. Okay, so let's go back to the tutorial. After removing Rochelle's factory paint with acetone, I've wrapped her hair in plastic to make sure it doesn't get ruined by the sealant. Then I spray her face three times with the sealant to protect the vinyl and give it tooth for my materials to stick on. If you do not do this step the right way, then it will be very difficult to build strong colors. I show my method of sealing in one of my past videos, so check the description for the link to the tutorial. The rest is as usual. I sketch the basic eye shape with brown watercolor pencil. It is important to get this step right, since after you've sealed the face it will be very difficult to modify. Here you can see I wasn't pleased with my first try and decided to redraw the iris. At the same time I start laying down some basic colors with pastels. And don't forget that I have all my materials and tools listed in my doll FAQ in the description box. After I'm happy with the foundation, I start working with my airbrush. You do not necessarily need to use one to paint a face up. You could do everything with pencils and pastels if you wanted. After using the airbrush, I go back to using the watercolor pencils and pastels all the way till the end. For the final touches, as always, I use some glitter for some glow and gloss on the lips. And this is her final look, pretty simple. I kept most of the original color scheme because I liked it so much and goes so well with her hair. Then I gave her an Atelier Momoni dress, an A-Zone headpiece and some lace leggings by S&P Doll. She did however keep her original shoes, because they are so amazing. And just because I'm crazy, I had to get another Rochelle. This way you can see the original next to my custom. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Just a little one, it helps a ton. Or you can be extra awesome by commenting and sharing. If this is your first time on my channel, I'd love to have you subscribed and become part of the family. This way you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And believe me, I have a ton of things coming up as part of my Patreon launch. And before I go, I'd like to say a big thank you to Debbie Arts for suggesting this collab. I hope to be doing more of them in the future. Well, this is it. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!